Well, everybody, long story short, we didn't make the Rocky Mountain Race Week. There's only one thing that's really more important than race cars, and that's family. So we have to take care of some stuff. So we won't be competing in the whole week this year, but hopefully tomorrow we're going to take the Buick out and make some hits. But tonight we have some people stopping by. Lots of people are rolling into town, having issues with cars. This happens kind of every year. Uh, something breaks, they got to fix something, they need to weld something. And we try to open up our shops for them. My dad's shop we've used a couple times uh, the last few years. There's always somebody that needs something or need some help. So we're actually gonna move the Buick out of the way, get the lift ready, and Clint Sadowski, really cool 67 Camaro hit me up and he says, hey, I got a crack in a crossover pipe or on his uh, exhaust tube or something, wants to do an oil change, so hey, come on by, let's get you taken care of so you can keep on with the week. Uh, watching a lot of things on the Rocky Mountain Race Reekers group on Facebook, lots of people having issues, so we're kinda here for this day or two to help everybody out so they can try to make it to Denver. So the Buick has been chilling since we took it out and went the 130 60 foot at 529 to the eighth. So gonna go ahead and get this pulled out of here. What I'd really like to do with this car tomorrow is hopefully go out, make a decent little hit, and then try to run it out all the way through and maybe even go a seven. Gotta watch that though, because of the cage. So, you know, we just gotta kind of play a little game there. But otherwise, I think the Buick is ready to go and make a rip tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and get it pulled out. Ah, perfect. Always good when it fires right up. So even though we can't be a full part of Rocky Mountain Race Week, we're going to be a part of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Clint just showed up, just got through the gate, so we're going to get his car in here and get him fixed up. What's up, man? Not much. Living the dream. <laughs> doing doing streetcar things? Oh, yeah. Trying to. Yeah, it's uh, been a long day. but Hot, too, huh? Yeah, very much so. This thing don't have AC in it? What the heck? Yeah, it does. Windows. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wish it was a uh, 57 with the vent window. Oh, that would be nice, yeah. At least crank it. Right on. So we're going to get Clint pulled in so you can get working on this thing, doing a little bit of maintenance, try to fix a few things on it, so you can make a better rip tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Hopefully. I can build a little boost. <laughs> got the car up on the lift clint's getting the coupler off here it's got this little flex coupler and as you guys can see right there it is uh cracked and underneath there there's there's a little gap in some pipes so we're gonna try to get this thing pulled off and get that fixed so it's telling me they've pretty much thrown this car together here in the last what, couple weeks so yeah barely made it as yeah, is it's, so it's been a, just one of those things that uh it's the what they call the covid short on parts list yeah so he's trying to do with what he had and uh, unfortunately that's one of the little parts that we need to try to make it a little bit better, especially now that it's gotten some miles. And also, he had a little wheelie on it, too, and stuff. So uh, we're going to get that off. He'll get the oil change, and we'll try to get this thing back together. Hopefully get it repaired up. So now the turbo's all unhooked. And now we just got to try to get this <laughs> out of the maze. So we get this dropped down, then we start looking at it and fixing this pipe. So This might be, and now that this is in the way. Oh. Oh, mercy. Not the turbo's got to come out. <laughs> Hope not. But I don't know it'll come yeah. out at all. To be honest with you. Yeah, it might not go out the top because that's the flange. Gonna cut the little cross member out of here to get the uh, tube down the bottom. Not a big deal. Got to try to get this piece kind of off or around. It's even messed up in here too. So uh, figure out how to cut this out of there and then try to bandage it up. Here's the tube outside the car, so you can see where this cracked, and then actually it got messed up right there too. So what I'm going to try to do, I think, is cut this here open it up because this tube and this tube here touch inside there there's just a gap so this was trying to help that out so we're gonna get rid of that and actually just try to weld this solid in there uh this tube and this tube so uh, you guys will see more once i get this thing cut open i i think i know what's inside there <laughs> so we ran over to the house i actually had this off of clyde these are the little turnouts right on the exhaust where it comes up so we got everything put back in here it's doing some oil changes so we got to fill this right here uh get rid of the dang flex coupler and now we'll try to get this piece cut a little sliver off of here and get it put in there and then we should be good with this he'll get a fresh oil change and should be good for tomorrow but this is this is my project right here we'll try to get her taken care of all right i'm gonna go ahead and weld up this actually started out as a little donut so i'm gonna go ahead and weld this up solid so then i can cut a piece of it off and it doesn't try to open up on me
All right, guys, so we got this little piece in here. It's not ideal, but I think it's gonna get him down the road. So we're gonna get tacked in the car, pull it out, and then get it welded up. And then that should at least uh, not leak. We got it all welded up. It is not pretty, but it's gonna work. Sometimes that's what you gotta do on these deals is just get it back together, make sure it's good, and head on down the road. Just gotta get the car put back together and everything should be good. Uh, this should definitely get him at least through race week, and then he can kind of go back and fix this later on, but using what we got for the week. Get the turbo bolted back up. On to the next thing. Cross members welded back into it. We just need to get the uh, wastegate on this thing. And man, is this wastegate being a pain. It's kind of got more of a square flange on it. You guys can see right there. So uh, that's been a little bit of a pain, but otherwise that is it. And then this car is done. Well, oil's going in it, man. Got it back together. Try not to do this at every city. Yeah, make this hopefully a... Uh, hopefully one for the rest of the week. So what size motor is this? Uh, 427. So this is 427. So real similar combo to the Buick, and this one actually has a Pro Mod 98, you said? Yes. Yeah, so single Pro Mod 98 on a 427, uh, Brodex headed LS. Is this the Dart or an LSX block? It's the uh, Dart block. Dart block. So yeah, real similar deal to what the Buick's got in it. So pretty cool setup. We'll be seeing this thing rip tomorrow for sure. Fire back up, get some oil through this thing. There you go guys, it's 1 a.m. and he's back on the road. So sometimes that's what you do on race week, a little behind the scenes look for you guys on what happens to help get some of these guys to the next track. Sometimes they need a shop, a welder, uh, anything to get this car back on the road and doing what it needs to be doing. And so if you guys are gonna go on a trip like this, keep this in mind. Sometimes you gotta get creative and figure out where you're gonna go and how you're gonna fix it. So uh, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Actually, the Baileys are coming with the shit box of doom. They'll be here. They need to do a few little maintenance things, I think, to the car. So I'll be back over here and I'll be prepping the Buick to go. Although I'm pretty bummed that I was not able to make it for the full week this year, at least for getting to still be a part of this awesome event. So we're going to get Clint back on the road. We'll see you guys tomorrow.